teacher. I'm the head teacher at Managering College Special School in Crawley, some of you will know. Thank you. And I'll start off by saying that, although I am obviously an extremely calm, rational, sensible, relentlessly reasonable person, I am bloody angry about what is going on in education Yay. at the moment. And I would like to just take 10, 15 minutes of your time to give you a little bit of background information about what's happening and what we can do about it. There are, there are five key issues around education at the moment. One of them is that the total amount of money is inadequate, despite what the government says. Secondly, the regional differences in funding between West Sussex and other areas of the country are indefensible, and I'll tell you what some of those differences are in a bit. Thirdly, we are facing cost increases of 2% every year. In my school, that's £70,000 that I have to cut. None of that is funded. So when I make a 2% saving, the only way of doing it is to cut staff. Fourthly, there is a recruitment crisis. Because there aren't enough teachers going into teacher training, and despite what the government says, there are too many teachers leaving the profession. The fifth issue is that inclusion and SEND support is disappearing down the drain. And I'm speaking as the head teacher of a special school. I've spent 37 years working in pupil referral units, secure units. I've worked in residential social services and residential CAMs. I know what working with vulnerable pupils and vulnerable families is all about. And all I see at the moment is the funding for that disappearing down the plug hole. But there's a sixth issue, which is the elephant in the room. The reason that those five are so significant is because ultimately what we're doing is making adults and children suffer more mental health difficulties. And the mental health referrals to CAMS, especially at primary, are going through the roof. What are we doing that we are making 10-year-olds and 9-year-olds so stressed that they need to be referred for psychiatric help. Let me just give you a couple of examples of some of the issues that I've just summarised. The regional differences between funding in Crawley and funding around the rest of the country are between 30 and 70%. If my school was 10 miles up the road in South London, I would be getting an extra £2.4 million, 70% of my current budget. I'm expected to provide the same service and the same level of progress as schools which are funded nearly double what I'm funded. If I, you may have heard, um, there was a question time about a week ago, came from Reading. If you heard that you will know that there was a question asked of school funding in Reading. Reading's interesting because it's pretty well the median funded school or the median funded authority in the whole country. If my school was in Reading, I'd be getting a million pounds extra. And yet there were people on question time saying that their schools were unable to function with the cuts they were having to make. I don't want any money to be taken off any other school in the country. But I'll tell you what, those schools in Reading, you come to Crawley and try and provide an outstanding service. Okay. I'm just going to finish off by just mentioning Henry Smith. Oh. Oh. Just give me a second. <laughs> Okay, what I'm saying is black and white. I'm not aware that there are any political parties who have black and white as their colours. So I am completely apolitical and totally neutral. And I've met Henry Smith about a dozen times over the last three years. I've been involved in the workers' campaign. We've been up to Westminster a dozen times. We've been uh, talking to the media. You may have seen me on Breakfast TV on Wednesday talking to Robert Halford MP. Henry Smith strikes me as a decent bloke. I've got nothing against him. But why isn't he here today? Yeah. And the point is, 
that we've been fighting for three years as head teachers. Look out in September, we are hoping to get a thousand head teachers from across the country in Downing Street. That should make a little bit of a media splash. The thing is, it's not actually making any difference. There's only one thing that's going to make a difference, and that's parent pressure on MPs. You can moan all you like at Dominic Harrington as the Regional Schools Commissioner, you won't get to talk to him. But you can get to talk to Henry Smith. So I want you to talk to him. I want you to write to him. I want you to email him. I want you to speak to him face to face. You can use British Sign Language or Makaton. I don't care how you do it, but you need to get on Henry Smith's back. Because Henry needs to understand a simple message. He is our elected representative and he needs to, um, he needs to promote our views. And he won't do that unless you tell him what they are. Okay, my last point. Just remember that when a system is broken, and the final account is taken, it's not the words of your opponents that you'll hear, it's the silence of your friends. If we don't speak up now, with a united, strong, passionate voice, we will be sleepwalking through the privatisation of our public services. And we will turn around one day and wake up and find that our special schools have disappeared, that our SEM provision has been outsourced and that our schools are run by for-profit academies. And you have an opportunity now to say something about that and to do something about it. And I urge everyone that's listening to go away and tell your family and your friends to make a noise about it and don't let it happen. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the headmaster and all those heads who have given support and it says something when the heads are on the march the government should know that it's in trouble. As part of our campaign we've demanded that the county council take back the school into public ownership, end the PFI contract and unfortunately West Sussex County Council have behaved like Pontius Pilate and have washed their hands of us and said that the school's got nothing to do with them. But we do welcome the support. Where it's genuine support from those politicians who support our demands for bringing back into public ownership all the academies for a scrapping of the PFI. I'd like to now the next speaker would be Peter Lamb, the leader of Crawley Council. Good afternoon. I think a lot of people around here today are probably wondering what the heck is going on, why are we all out here? Well it was mentioned earlier today that this is the first protest of this scale in 20 years. Yeah. And who remembers what it was 20 years ago about? It was about the hospital. It was about the hospital. I wonder how many people who were ignoring us 20 years ago now wonder whether or not they should have been on the same side of the protest. Whether or not we would still have our emergency unit instead of our alternative unit if people then had got on their feet and had made their voices heard. Today isn't just about Thomas Bennett. Thomas Bennett is a critical issue, but today is about what's happened to all our schools here on out. If we allow what is happening at Thomas Bennett to happen, that academy chain controls schools across Crawley, primary schools across Crawley. If, if we allow it to happen at that one chain, if we allow it to that one school, it goes across that chain and then five of the chains follow, we soon find ourselves in a position where all of our education providers are cutting back, are making their savings and they're unaccountable. We know this. We as the taxpayer are paying for their services and yet they're going to be in a position to do what they want and we can't even get information out of Thomas Bennett as exactly what it is they're proposing. That's how unaccountable they are for you and for the education of providing your children and your grandchildren. Now it doesn't matter if you're a parent, it doesn't matter if you're a grandparent, at the end of the day, if we as a town are not training our young people up to get decent jobs, to keep our economy growing, to maintain our local economy, to maintain our quality of life, we will all suffer. In retirement, if you haven't got people paying into, uh, paying into the tax system, you will suffer. Our entire UK uh, population relies upon us giving our kids a decent education. And that is not going to happen if we allow these sorts of cuts to take place. I'm very proud to be supporting the NEU 
parents and teachers in this campaign try and make sure that Crawley's kids get a decent chance. We're already the worst in the South East when it comes to social mobility. We're already a town where who your parents are decides where you're going to end up more than anyone else, anywhere else in the region. We can't let that happen. Thomas Bennett has been a bulwark against that with improving grades for all manner of kids over the years. We've got to fight back. We've got to make sure our school, school kids get the investment that they need. That starts today and we need all your support. Thank you very much. Yay! Thanks, Peter. As many of you will know, the teachers and support staff through the NEU will start strike action next week. TCAT tried to create a divide and rule between the parents and the staff. And I'm proud to say that the parents have stood strong, side by their, with their staff. And the next speaker is one of the parents, is Emma Ford. It's the emotional support that they get too, which the base gives them. My daughter, I wanted to send her to the base in September next year. She, she has got an EHDP and we had already started transition work with Annie for her to start at the base. But now, I don't know really if the base is going to be there as it is now. Without a lead and without the dedicated building that it's used for years, is it really going to be the same environment, the same support that they're giving at the moment? Are they still going to be able to do this? Thomas Bennett, as a school, I have found it always to be a holistic, student-focused school. The dedication from the staff and the caring from the staff has been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not even from Crawley, but I choose to drive my children into Crawley to come to the school because of this, this whole holistic environment. And by reducing the numbers of teachers at this school, how is that going to continue? How are the staff going to have the time and the resources to be able to continue to treat each child as an individual and get the best out of each child. So I'm in, I'm in support of, you know, reversing these cuts, really. Yay! Yay! Whistles now! There are lots of energy! I'll stay respectful. Yeah. 